Hello everyone, this is Ed Platt from the band Enchant, and this is my Prog 5 on the Prog Report. For my first selection on the Prog 5, I'm going to bring you all back to 1975 and the second album by my favorite American prog band of all time, Kansas, with Song for America. I mean, what can you say about these guys at the time? Incredible songwriting. Carrie Livgren, one of the best songwriters that ever lived. Steve Walsh, amazing frontman vocalist, as well as keyboard player. All the guys in the band were on point. The musicianship is just stellar. The songwriting is amazing. And these guys will always be one of my favorite bands of all time.
So for my second selection, I'd like to go to The Mighty Yes, an incredibly difficult selection picking one song from this band, another of my top five all time. I chose Heart of the Sunrise. Heart of the Sunrise is a progressive rock masterpiece and the closing track on their fourth album, Fragile. But there's nothing fragile about this one. I first heard this song and thought, that is one hell of an aggressive bass line and groove right from the get. And I want a bass that sounds like that. That riff cycles through the song and all the right parts, which I love. Chris Squire is one of my bass idols. And this song and so many of his others have shaped me so much as a young player. And they still do today. I really love the way that the song merges from the aggressive opening piece into the slightly funky section in 4 that doesn't really sound like 4 and then leads us into the rest of this progressive rock masterpiece, weaving and twisting into perfection. However, there's so much more in this song for me, especially John's vocals, which are beautiful and perfection in the heart of the sunrise. Oh 
arms around me Lost on the way and then after
Okay, I'm going to go a lot heavier with this next selection. I'm going to let the hard rock and metal roots show with this one. I have to include one of my favorite songs from one of my favorite albums this year. I chose God of the Sun from Sons of Apollo's Psychotic Symphony album for my third Prog 5 selection. These guys are incredible. If you haven't seen them live, make sure you do. I had the pleasure of seeing them play live their very first show on the 2017 Cruise to the Edge and again in San Francisco at a small club that they burned to the ground with an incredible set. The virtuoso playing and vocals are on point on this song. This one kicks my ass for sure. Here's God of the Sun.
the silence of the night And beneath the afterglow This illusion you invite Fall in temptation Desperate
For my fourth selection, I'll go with Splintering Heart by Marillion. This one's the opening track from their Holidays in Eden album that was released in 1991 around the time I joined my band in Chant.
And for my final Prog 5 choice, I picked a 18 minute long progressive hard rock masterpiece from my favorite band of all, Rush. This one turns 40 years old near the end of next month around Halloween and was another of my biggest influences and something totally different for me at the time. I'd pretty much just been listening to hard rock at that time, but a friend turned me on to Hemispheres in 1980, I believe it was. This record was one of the biggest reasons I switched to playing bass, as it was one of Getty Lee's best performances, in my opinion. So enjoy, friends, as I leave you with Cygnus X1 2 Hemispheres.